Hello everyone, welcome to session 5 of LTEC 782. I want to start out by saying great work on Critical Reflection 4. It was really helpful for me to hear about what you've been working on, what breakthroughs and or successes you've experienced, and what challenges you've been facing. Now, I try to leave detailed feedback for each of you on your videos to either encourage, reinforce, and or guide you as needed. I hope you find that feedback helpful and feel free to reach out if you need clarification or want to talk in more detail. Now, as you can probably imagine, we're into session five and that means you'll have your second critical friends meeting. And on June 28th, you need to hand in your final critical reflection, which will be your second proposal progress report. Now this week, we're gonna focus on conjecture mapping, which I think is gonna help all of you connect a lot of dots. Now specifically, we're gonna focus on these four columns of the conjecture map, and then specifically, we'll talk about design conjectures and theoretical conjectures. Before we get into all of that, I did wanna provide some guidance for moving forward. And this guidance, essentially I have three tips which are based on some of the concerns or wonderings that I heard about in your video reflections. So tip number one, don't overdo the literature review portion of your proposals. This is not your dissertation, it's just a proposal. So keep the literature review short. Think one to one and a half pages, two pages maximum. And within those pages, just one or two paragraphs per topic. And this is really important. The quality of the big picture of your whole proposal is actually more important than having an outstanding literature review section. I hope that makes sense. So for the purpose of this class, we're interested in the quality of the big picture and your ability to convey that you understand the dots that need to be connected for a DBR study. This brings us to tip number two. Don't feel pressure to spell out every single detail of the design iterations for alpha, beta, and gamma testing. Again, emphasize the big picture and be clear about the project's long-term goal and the initial design of your intervention. And as we'll learn about this week, I want you to emphasize your design and theoretical conjectures, which will likely persist across in between iterations. So long story short, don't get bogged down in those details and really keep things high level and focus on the big picture. And that brings us to our final tip, tip number three, which is to use this week's lesson on conjecture mapping to help you quote unquote see the big picture of your individual DBR proposals. This brings us to thinking about your research question. One of your research questions should be derived from your design conjectures. And right now you might not be super clear on what a design conjecture is, that's okay. This week's lesson is going to introduce that concept to you. And then another research question or set of questions should be derived from your theoretical conjectures. And again, this week's lesson on conjecture mapping is going to help you understand and distinguish design and theoretical conjectures. Okay, that's all for now. Have a great week, and I'll see you in Canvas.